Is it a thriller? Is it a slasher movie? Is it a study of Parsi life in South Mumbai? It's mostly Karthik Aryan trying his darndest best to prove there's more to him than the song and dance. Does it work though? Hey all, my name is Sacharata. Welcome back to my channel where I've got movie reviews, interviews, etc, etc going on. Before we proceed, do please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell icon next to the big red subscribe button. Today we're talking about Shashank Ghosh's Freddy now streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar. No cavities. But extraction is going to be done. Freddy Jinwala is a socially awkward dentist with a troubled past. Good at his job, he's abysmal at social interactions, fully unable to forge relationships, especially of the romantic kind. When talking with women, he doesn't know where to look and inadvertently, his eyes travel where they shouldn't, sending women running away from him. Aside from one person's auntie and one pet tortoise named Hardy, Freddy doesn't seem to have anyone in his life to talk to until one day a patient catches his fancy and being the oddity that he is, he plans his whole life with her, except she doesn't know. Ironically, like Alaya F, who's playing the aforementioned patient Kainas, the film too doesn't know where it's headed almost constantly. We're pulled in with the promise of a psychological thriller, an unreliable narrator, a noir set in the Western Ghats' monsoon. For such a story to succeed and be thoroughly menacing, it needs to be set 100% in a reality that's believable and hence it's bone chilling. The audience needs to be fully convinced that this is something that can happen. Maybe Freddy is somebody we know. Is my doctor looking at me weird when I'm on the general anesthesia to liken your character to Todd Phillips's joker make him do bad things and then dance by himself unable to feel remorse the world around him needs to be made of genuinely believable circumstances and people who without having to go out of their way make existence harder for freddy unable to see that he's struggling to live a normal life Instead, the subplots feature excessively mean and cruel folks pulling pranks on Freddy, played by junior artists excited about their first speaking role in a movie. I also see the attempt to give this movie a you on Netflix vibe, a twisted kind of toxic love story for sadistic pleasure watching. And to be fair, the movie is successful in creating that atmosphere through most of the first half of the film. Speaking of atmosphere, Freddy is almost defeated uh, in nature, created by intentional cinematography by Ayanan Kabos. His camera is dedicated to creating a Mumbai which looks like dawn or dusk constantly where things happen only in shadows lit by neon city lights pools of water in the streets reflecting the city's true nature unfortunately it's one step forward two steps back the effort of the cinematography is undone by two additional antagonists who are comically silly and unconvincing as real people a woman dressed in the shortest satin shorts because you know she's bad and her boyfriend with an unintentionally ridiculous parsi accent constantly necking her to show how horny they are you know because they're bad these are tropes the film could have done entirely without Freddy the movie seems to be too in awe of the stardom of Karthik Aryan focusing so much on showing the audience his transformation and dedication to becoming Freddy it forgets to rein it in not knowing when to stop crossing over into indulgence inadvertently causing drudgery despite the actor's determined attempts to send chills down our spines Alaya F. Skynaz is the epitome of men writing female grey characters and how they assume women think and function in a pinch. The lack of a motive behind her agenda would have worked maybe if the film was a planned, unironic ode to yesteryear's cinema, commenting on women existing only to look a certain way, surface level basic thoughts in their heads behind the porcelain skin. Here, it's just one stereotype after another. By the time the climax rolls around and the main characters on screen play a flaccid game of cat and mouse, all you're left feeling is fatigue and maybe some curiosity how this pretty intriguing premise would have played out in the hands of say shri ram raghavan sorry sir kept you waiting so on a scale of 1 to 10 freddy is 10 to 12 times maybe Kanas calls people bastard everyone around her who steps one foot out of line is a bastard watch the movie on Disney Plus Hotstar count and tell me subscribe and stick around this week we've already spoken about kala up next an action hero my name is Sacharata thank you for stopping by sorry about the low energy today i've been so unwell for two days but i'm here so thank you